Well, certainly the feel of winter today. Temperatures running in the low in mid 30s, setting up another cold night. It will stay dry. I'm not tracking much on Doppler radar yet. Take a look at live pictures along the South Shore. And Eric Ansett, sunshine and some thin clouds are on the increase right now with temperatures in most areas ranging anywhere from about 30, 35, setting up for a nice sunset this evening in Providence under partly sunny skies. 33, wind chill running at 25 on a west breeze at 10. Humidity is still very low. Dry air at 27 so hard to generate any precipitation when you don't have any moisture in the air to begin with. Low 30s in Smithfield, about 31 in uh, New Bedford, and Westerly checks in at 32. Threat tracker now through Friday and Saturday, low-level green. Now, even though we're still keeping an eye on uh, an ocean storm, still looks like the bulk of this is going to pass out to sea, so it's a miss. But we still get grays with at least some light snow showers. Could dust the ground in spots by tomorrow evening, but as far as anything significant, uh, fortunately, we don't see that. So the storm is a miss. I'll show you that in the satellite photo. You see some clouds streaming in right now. Storm taking shape across the Ohio River Valley area of low pressure. This will track off the Carolina coastline, intensify rapidly. Now, sometimes this is a classic setup for a huge hit here, a big nor'easter. This will intensify into a huge storm, but the track is just far enough offshore on Friday so that we just get grays with some clouds, some light snow showers. I think the hardest hit area would be out towards Cape Cod, the islands, especially Nantucket, where the island could pick up perhaps three to four inches of snow. So we're going to keep the chill this evening right on through tomorrow. Take a look at Future Castle. We'll walk you through it hour by hour starting off this evening at around 7 o'clock. Skies are clear to partly cloudy. Temperatures down to the mid-20s. Cloudy, cold, dry tomorrow morning. This is 7 a.m. No problems for the morning commute. Get into the afternoon hours. We start to see some developing light snow showers. This is two o'clock in the afternoon through tomorrow evening, and then the bulk of the snow shifts towards the Cape and the islands later tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. Get in real close. Take a look at the future cast beginning this evening, and we'll take you through the overnight hours. And again, no problems, just kind of cold and dry. We'll start off at seven o'clock this evening. You see the clouds that are on the increase. Temperatures late at night dropping down to the low and mid 20s. So, uh, chilly and dry. Tomorrow morning starting off at 5 a.m. You see increasing clouds. Again, the morning hours will be dry. No problems uh, for the commute. Temperature starting off in the 20s and rising through the mid 30s. And then during the afternoon, cloudy, cold and dry. Looking at temperatures in the mid 30s with uh, light snow showers developing and spilling over into early tomorrow evening. And again, may coat the ground in spots. Nothing more than that. You head out towards the Cape and the islands anywhere from uh, one to three inches of snow Friday evening and into Friday night. Seven day future cast the weekend looks uh, cool and dry. In fact, Saturday's a nice day. We, at least we've got some sunshine here. Oh, that's not the right one. We have some sunshine coming up for Saturday and uh, temperatures topping out in the uh, low 40s, both Saturday and Sunday. Monday, not bad. That starts the warming trend. The signs of spring. Look at the middle of next week. We're forecasting 50s and 60s for daytime highs and nights in the 30s and the 40s. So snow lovers, this one for the most part is a big miss. Perhaps a dusting tomorrow evening. That's about it. Even though it was a little colder today, it's still with that sun shining so strongly. You, felt really nice. You can feel it because the angle of the sun, like back in December, is much higher. So it has some oomph to it. So from inside your car, you can pretend it's spring already. <laughs> yeah. All right, Tony, thanks. More coverage you can count on still ahead on Eyewitness News Live at 5.